Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mondo. We're here today at the IRIV Institute uh, discussing a new paper published uh, in blood purification by the group of Kawazoe from Sendai, Japan. And it is in particular a sub-analysis of the DESIRE trial. The DESIRE trial was published in JAMA some time ago on uh, the effect of dexmethodimine uh, uh, drug in septic patients. The sub-analysis includes patients that have been treated with polymyxin B hemoperfusion and in particular there was a distinction between patients who were treated for two hours and patients that were treated for longer than two hours trying to see if any difference in mortality was uh, uh, present. Uh, the author actually discovered that 28-day mortality was significantly higher in the group treated with uh, polymyxin B hemoperfusion for two hours, while it was uh, lower in patients that had a prolonged exposure to the adsorbent technology, showing that uh, possibly the application of polymyxin B hemoperfusion should be reconsidered in terms of the timing and the uh, duration of the hemoperfusion therapy. At this point, I think that uh, this may also explain some controversial results in the past and other studies and uh, imposes probably a new study where uh, the longer and prolonged application of polymyxin B hemoperfusion uh, is studied in patients with uh, septic shock. With this, I thank you very much uh, for joining today, Cappuccino. Please look at this uh, paper on mortality effect of prolonged hemoperfusion with polymyxin B in septic patients in blood purification. Have a wonderful day. Mm. Ah, excellent.